नमस्कार स्टूडेंट इन क्लास इलेवन यू विल बी लर्निंग टू लैंग्वेजेस दैट इज पाइथन एंड माई सीक्वेल आई हैव फॉरवर्डेड यू द सिलेबस ऑफ क्लास इलेवेंथ ऑल्सो एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ माई सीक्वेल दैट इज रिलेशनल डेटा बेस एंड इन टूडेज सेशन वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट बेसिक थिंग्स ऑफ डेटा बेस what is a database a database is an organized collection of data for example books records in library students record in a school employees record in a firm or a teachers record in a school these all are the example of database you can also understood a company's need is repository of data and that can be done through the data be this data must be accurate private and protected from the damage and for it companies are using so any softwares and dbms is one of most popular softwares dbms stands for database management system it is basically a computer based record keeping system it is a software that is responsible for storing maintaining and utilizing a database there are so many advantages of dbms software over file processing system in file processing systems data was permanently stored in the forms of records in various files but in bms it is not like that changes was very difficult in file processing system so there are so many advantages of dbms first is reduce data redundancy redundancy means duplicacy of data there is no duplicacy of data in dbms secondly data consistency your data is stored in different different tables and if you are changing in one field that would be reflected wherever that field is used data integrity integrity means accuracy of data and consistency of data suppose there is a date field in your database and might be someone has entered phone number in date field so because of integrity system will not allow you to enter phone number in date field next advantage of dbms is shareable and secure data whatever data we are storing in dbms softwares that can be shared with other others or multiple users can also use in a network and it is secure we can apply a password as per our requirement there are so many types of database models in your syllabus relational database model is given in relational database model data is organized into tables and table is formed by rows and columns as you all know columns in the table that are storing one type of data is known as field or attribute one type of data means can you see in roll number 1 2 3 4 only numbers are written in name the only the text is written in phone number number type of data is there so it is storing one type of data either number text or date and column in the table are known as attribute then row in table that is representing a complete unit of logically related information it is telling us complete information about a particular entity that is called as a record or tuple of the relation since table is made by number of rows and these all are logically related that's why a table in relation database model is called as relation 
there are so many example of commonly used rdbms they they are my mysql sqlite postgresql there are some key points that you need to remember very first an important point is degree the number of attributes in a relation is called degree number of attribute means number of columns in a table can you see in the following table you can uh, two fields are coming so degree of this table is 2 cardinality the number of tuple in a relation means number of rows in a re relation is called as cardinality in the previous student table cardinality was 4 and degree was 3 and in the following table which you can see here cardinality is 4 there are some more key points that you need to remember first is primary key it is a set of one or more attributes that can uniquely identify tuples within a relation primary key cannot have duplicate value and cannot have null or empty values for example if we talk about students database of our school then every student is having a unique roll number so that can be a primary key it is uniquely identifying a student second is candidate key all attributes combination inside a relation that can be served as primary key are called candidate key for example if i talk about in a school student database only then enrollment number of a each student is also unique so it can be serve as a primary key so it is called as a candidate key i have shown you this by the figure also you can see candidate key alternate key and primary key third is alternate key a candidate key that is not primary key is called as alternate key you can see in figure roll number and email is alternate key then last is foreign key a non key attribute whose value is derived from primary key of some other table is known as foreign key of current table can you see in example there is customer table and orders table and customer table primary key is customer number and in orders table primary key is order number but there is a field customer number whose values are derived from customer table so customer number is foreign key for orders table introduction to mysql mysql is freely available open source relational database management system that uses structure query language sql sql is an abbreviation for structure query language and pronounced either sql or as separate letters s q l it is a standardized query language for requesting information from a database query language means we can retrieve data from a table from the database the original version called sql was designed by ibm research center in 1974 and 75 it was first introduced 
as a commercial database system in 1979 by Oracle Corporation. MySQL is fast, reliable, scalable and portable RDBMS. You may follow the link to download MySQL. Link is there. Type it in your address bar and you can follow this. Thank you for watching the video.